Imagine a CPU with 264 cores, not a prototype, not a data center fantasy, but an actual architecture with a real roadmap and launch window just a few years away. That's exactly where AMD is heading with Zen 7. And no, this isn't just another refresh with more makers. What's happening here is fundamental shift in how CPUs are designed, from IPC and cache technology to how cores are physically stacked and structured. Today we're breaking down everything we know about Zen 7, what has been confirmed, what's projected and what it could really mean for both desktop and server computing in 2027 and beyond. To understand Zen 7 properly, you need to see it in context. Zen 2 brought core scaling into the mainstream, Zen 3 sold latency and delivered an IPC jump that redefine AMD's position. Zen 6, scheduled to launch next year, focuses heavily on core count scaling with a new triplet layout, bridge interconnects and TCMC to nanometer node. And then comes Zen 7, designed to consolidate, refine and fully exploit the architectural groundwork laid by its predecessor. Unlike Intel's hybrid architecture with performance and efficiency core, AMD is sticking with unified core design. That said, Zen 7 includes several internal variants. Traditional high-performance cores, dense cores optimized for area and scaling, low-power cores built for efficiency-first designs, balance-focused efficiency core, and for the first time, full integrated 3D cores. And to be clear, this isn't just a new layer of vCache slapped on top. These 3D cores are designed from the ground up to live in a vertical stack with more cache, lower latency and higher density per triplet. In short, cache isn't an add-on anymore, it's part of the core's DNA. On the performance side, AMD is targeting an IPC uplift between 15 and 25% compared to Zen 6. It's really an ambitious goal, but not unrealistic, especially given the move to TSMC 1.4 nanometer node from core triplets. Vcache will remain on 4 nanometer, which shows AMD's willingness to optimize each functional block individually rather than force everything into one process. L2 cache is going up to 2 megabytes per core, while L3 cache will be 7 megabytes, slightly smaller than current X3D. But thanks to 3D design closer to cores and far more efficient in terms of latency and real-world responsiveness. Now, let's talk numbers. Each Zen 7 triplet is expected to house 33 cores. It's an odd number, literally, but it makes sense from a layout perspective. That translates to full epic configuration of 264 cores. That's only slightly higher than the 256 core target of Zen 6C, but again, the focus is no longer on raw core counts, it's about how much work each of those cores can get done. IPC cache proximity and latency reduction will be far more impactful than simply stacking more silicon. As for the timeline, tape out for Zen 7 is currently scheduled for October 2026, this point to a possible product launch in late 2027 or early 2028. More possible. AMD is aiming for a rough 18 months candles between generation, which is aggressive, but it makes sense if they want to stay ahead of Intel's Nova Lake roadmap. Speaking of Intel, Nova Lake is expected to introduce a new cache technology, eternally referred to as ELLC, their version of stacked cache. The problem for Intel is simple. By the time Nova Lake finally hits the market, AMD may already be deploying full 3D stacked cores. Vcache will feel like yesterday's solution. This puts AMD in a position where they are not reacting to the competition, they are setting the pace. So here's the bottom line. Zen 7 isn't just their next generation, it's the logical fusion of everything AMD has been building, IPC, cache hierarchy, 3D stacking, advanced lithography into a single cohesive platform. If AMD can deliver even 70% of what has been outlined, Zen 7 could very well become the most capable x86 architecture of its generation. Not just because of how many cores it has, but because of how those cores are structured, connected and optimized to perform. If this breakdown helped clarify where Zen 7 is heading, hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment. Do you believe 3D stacked cores are the future of CPUs or just an immersive idea that will hit the real-world limits before it full payoffs? 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned because Zen 6 is just around the corner and it's going to give us a serious preview of the fight that's coming. See you around.